Welcome back. With Ethiopian Grand Renaissance Dam positioning itself as the Africa's largest hydroelectric project in terms of power generation producing 6,450 gigawatts for Ethiopian population domestic use and industrialization, there are rallying calls for diversification of the use of the dam to carry out irrigation of crops in order to address food shortage in Igad member states. Citizen TV's Bonfest Beraza visited the dam in northwest Ethiopia and brings us the story from the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. More than 700 kilometers from Ethiopia's Addis capital is Guba Sosa in northwest of Ethiopia, where the Africa's largest hydroelectric project, Dab Ethiopian Grand Renaissance Dam, is located. Our visit at the dam established the mega project to be a game changer, generating green energy that could change the fortunes of Africa in offering vast power supply, boost economic growth, and regional integration of IGAD member states. By providing modern energy sources, the Grand Ethiopian Dam saves the environment from destruction, especially by providing electricity to the local people. It will save our forests, which are the bedrock of our life. That's one most important thing. Second, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam saves the world, saves the planet from the release of two million tons of carbon dioxide per year. The dam has been able to meet the local power demand at 50 percent, with a section of Ethiopians getting connected to the national grid, as well as neighboring IGAD member states. Now we have reached nearly 50 percent of our total demand and still 50% of Ethiopians are to be integrated with the system and it will require a huge investment and we are working on that. Uh, when it comes to neighboring countries, our system, our grid is connected with other countries like Sudan, Djibouti, Kenya and Tanzania. Our aim is to expand this interconnection with Somalia, South Sudan, Uganda and other countries in the region. There is also a push to have the use of the water for irrigation fed agriculture to produce food in surplus for the region. I'm a farmer. To be next to a dam big like this, do you know how the salt will be moist? Do, do you know how our crop, do you know how our harvest will be? Today we are talking about, you know, drought in East Africa. We, and people will say the region of Igad is the region where we got war, where we got drought, but what they don't know, we got also this. This one, instead of it being used as a source of power only, it can also be used as a source of food. We can do irrigation here. We use the water for irrigation. Uh, we will never lack food again. Instead of going to import food from other countries, let's just focus on the farming. We do irrigation and will be sorted out with food issues. If fully operationalized, the dam will produce over 15,000 gigawatts of electricity annually. With Ethiopian taxpayers having fully financed the construction of the Grand Renaissance Ethiopian Dam, other neighboring countries have a lot to learn from this experience. Bonfas Barasa, Citizen TV, the Ethiopia Grand Renaissance Dam in Gabwa Sosu, Ethiopia. Now, the health sector 